So we did these. Yeah, that's the course one. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, there's one up there. Yeah, yeah. I could just stand over here, right? Oh, yeah, 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 no, I mean, you're good on this one. Uh, on the live stream, you're a little, uh, you know, because there's a bit of shout-out, well, okay. but that's I only, I only need to do it to switch tabs. Okay, oh, yeah. so you're perfect there. That's really good. Okay. Um, I'm going to record it on my own. You say I'm, okay. All right. So sometimes your idea is too big, and it's better to just come up with an idea and give the idea than to just make the app itself and show a half working app. So what I'm doing is that I'm going to tell you what I would do with the Radisys API had I enough time. So I call this idea forklift as a service. We all know how we have to work really hard in order to learn different things. You have the, the different platforms like O'Reilly, you have Coursera, you have uh, the other ones out there. There's so many out there where you have to pay money in order to learn different skills, in order to get different certifications or different skills that you want in life. But um, when you have small um, groups like MakerFX, Makerspace, like we have here locally, uh, you can, in fact, um, get a crowd learning environment where a bunch of people can come in and P2P teach each other. However, I have not seen I have not seen a P2P crowd learning platform available online, and that is where Radisys comes in. With Radisys's technology of um, shared audio and video um, um, conferencing, we can create conference rooms where people can crowd learn in certain environments and they can um, they can uh, teach each other different things. Now, the problem is, what if you can't find a teacher? Who is going to teach? Now, we have to remember we live in the day of AI. With burgeoning technologies such as ChatGPT and BARD, and BARD rapidly accelerating, we can create rooms where certain AIs like ChatGPT or BARD, whichever fits your need more, can host a room depending on the topic of your crowd learning uh, environment and the, the AI can drive a conversational AI platform in a crowd P2P manner. So Radisys Technologies will allow um, one to use text-to-speech technology in order to um, communicate with these AIs as well as each other within the room and drive a crowd learning platform. Now, the important thing is that what we can do is that we can deploy this to the cloud in an infrastructure as a service. Now, I'm cloud certified, and so I'm actually certified in order to create solutions. So what we can do is that we can deploy our app in an agile infrastructure manner where we can deploy this um, our uh, idea to um, Google Kubernetes engine or something, or whatever the equivalent is in your, in your um, cloud of choice. This allows us to have a very scalable app where you, you're, you're using very limited resources in order to um, manage your um, compute resources much more smartly and you can, uh, you can limit the amount of um, resources that you're using. This app, this, this website is a fully functioning website that is running in Cloud Run right now, so if you would like to visit this website and click through this and read through this more fully, you can. So, the, so there's a lot of um, functionality that the cloud delivers that you can deploy your Redis uh, con uh, conferencing AI app on, um, as well as integrating the existing Redis app with, with Google's um, own um, AI platform and drive very highly AI-driven conversational thing with Redis's own voice assistant, with Redis's own virtual assistant, and Redis's own AI technology. So uh, if, if you want to know more about what you can do with the, uh, the cloud, you can go to this, this um, link. So here's the, the different uh, AIs that you can use the Rad with the Radisys API. And so the idea of forklift as a service is the idea that this is not just going to be an, I uh, an online platform for P2P learning. Um, this is going to be an entire infrastructure that is going to bring the AIS, plat the AIS model into real life because um, we have our, our P2P crowd learning platform in the makerspaces, for example, but there's no overarching model for us to deploy the, the P2P learning platform into the real world environments. So what we can do with this, with this app in this environment is deploy these into real world infrastructures such that we can train people to get certifications in given environments that allow them to get certified in things that they otherwise couldn't, such as forklift training, which is the way forklift as a service comes along. 
because um, you can use the as a service model there and have these in those space, this app in that space with an AI driven uh, model for conferencing. So the future possibilities is that we can take this app from being a SaaS model or a software as a service model to a PaaS model and we can um, actually have people integrate individual apps be it on App Engine, on, on GK, Cloud Run, or Cloud Functions, depending on the usage, and integrate that as part of a learning experience as part of this conferencing thing. So people can deploy their own um, learning platform as part of the, the whole Redis experience of the, of the conference call with this AI driving the, the, um, the learning with this app as part of the learning experience. And we can host these on the cloud. This being a cloud-native app, it has a lot of scalability, it has a lot of possibility for, for changing how this app works. It's very easy to deploy it if you, if you build a greenfield. And um, there's a lot you can do. There's almost infinite possibilities with this. So that's pretty much what the, the pitch is, is that it's a, it's, it's a cloud learning platform using Radis as the driving factor for conference calling. So um, yeah, I hope you like my pitch. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. That was great. It was nice, clear, and beautifully short. <laughs> Any questions for Fractal? Oh, yeah. A question? You have a question? Yeah. You talked a lot about like uh, deploying it into a space. What might that look like in a real world application? In a real world application? Well, you saw that right there. The, the, the site that I, that I deployed, that was running on Cloud Run. That okay. I, I literally just got that running, and I, I put that in a Docker container, and I shoved that on Cloud Run, and it, and it's scalable. So sorry, so, I might have been uh, yeah, so, not clear enough. So this you it? were talking about like hypothetically, this could be deployed at like MakerFX or something. Yes. So in in real world applications, for example, let's take MakerFX. Um, we could deploy this as part of that um, MakerFX environment, where we could have this platform as a continuously running, continuously running thing where people will be physically at the makerspace and virtually with that AI assistant driving a learning experience. Cool. So it would be a conference call that is integrated into the real world environment, but this is much bigger than just the virtual thing, the idea, with the ideas that we're bringing, we're giving an infrastructure to a crowd learning platform. So as far as infrastructure, they would be bringing their own laptops or... I would imagine. In from I, I would imagine computers. that if if this was a startup, that you, we would get investment to create specific spaces for this, designated to give certifications. Because you have to be, for example, you, for, for the forklift idea, for example, you have to give, you have to have certain specifications in order to give a forklift certification. I don't want to get forklift certified, but I don't want to get a job at Walmart just to get forklift certified. I want to walk into some place, get my forklift certification, and walk out. A la forklift as a service. If we provide these certifications and certification trainings as a service, as we would in the virtual platform for virtual for virtual certifications, like the GCP CDL that I took, um, we could drive. Um, learning environments that are very certification based to help people get their um, learning uh, their learning their certs so that they don't have to uh, they don't have to rely on just teaching themselves materials from a site like O'Reilly the crowd learning will bring together people that want to help each other that want to teach each other and when there's nobody there the AI will be able to converse with them in a very natural manner in a very conversational manner but and using the Radisys virtual assistant, we can integrate ChatGPT or BARD to speak through them and be that virtual AI. Neat. Yeah. Any other questions? So I just want to make sure I understand. Are you suggesting a virtual process for forklift certification? <coughs> I'm not suggesting. I'm suggesting we bring this 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 model into the real world. Crowd, we bring crowd learning, like actual physical crowd learning spaces, into the physical world, where we integrate this technology in the physical space as part of the physical space. But we also have a physical layer to that, where where people can come in and train other people. It is just like Maker Effects. How in Maker Effects we. If I wanted to host an Illustrator class and teach people Illustrator, I can go into MakerFX, schedule and tell people, oh, hey, I'm going to teach an Illustrator class, and then teach an Illustrator class. That's crowd learning. It's P2P learning. Right, but but there's a big difference between that and a 
forklift in terms of the physical nature of a forklift and driving a forklift. Yes, there, there would be. Yes, so there would be. I'm just trying to connect the dots between that physical layer and the, the physical layer is that if this was an actual startup, we would create physical spaces designated to give people the IRL training and IRL certification they needed. It would be it would be a it would be a designated spot to give these certifications as trainings that you couldn't otherwise get elsewhere. So they, they would they would have the infrastructure for it basically. So this is that's a much much further down the line thing. This is the first layer. The Radisys app, the scalability, the deploying into the cloud, that's the first layer. The the idea of bringing it IRL, that's that's 10 years down the line, you know what I mean? It's, the, it's when this it's when this platform becomes a solid ground that it be, that it takes off and it becomes a solid idea that we can take this idea and move it into the real space. Okay, again, that was excellent. Thank you. <laughs> so what we're going to do.